Hey everyone, it is Pride here and today I'm back with another video. Now this video is going to be another one of Grounded Bounties. Uh, this time is, it is back attack. As you can see, we have all pets that basically just attack uh, the backline from the enemy. Uh, yeah, I haven't uh, posted in a really long time. So my apologies. This is just because I haven't had a lot of time. When I started this channel, I, I had a lot of time, but now I'm back in school and stuff like that. So that's why I haven't been posting really. I also have been playing uh, some other games other than Super Auto Pets. But yeah, let's get into this run. As you can see, I have a, a two kiwis and a strawberry ready to go. But yeah, obviously you want the seahorse first, since it's a tier one, tier one pet. And also we need to get it to level three in order to complete the bounty. So we want to get it er as early as possible. But yeah, now we're going into uh, turn four. We have three hearts and zero wins. So yeah, it is getting getting quite difficult. I wanted lasagna here from the puppy, but I just want to focus on getting seahorse first. Then here's a uh, buy sell team. That's not quite strong, strong enough yet to beat us. And here you find the seahorse finally. So. I just start buffing it a lot. I'm thinking about the rabbit, but I don't think it's gonna be worth it for for one uh, extra health. And then there's double hatching chick. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. We got the uh, three hatching chicks right now. And then garlic on the seahorse is gonna be better than then a uh, strawberry. This is a pretty fun team. Going for a wasp five of kind maybe. But it's honestly too early to tell. Uh, so yeah, I got donkey. Donkey is also one of the pets that we need. So yeah, I bring it in. And then bluebird for some extra buffs. Goes onto the giraffe, it's fine. It's only one attack anyway. And then there's a double warm Jerboa team. Always pretty scary going against a Jerboa team. Since Jerboa is just so strong. I think I've bought Jerboa once and that was the run before this. So yeah. But it's, it's just so good. And here I'm trying to get some more stats on the donkey and seahorse since it is the only two pets we have right now uh, leech peacock here but donkey is uh, putting in some work and we can win so yeah that brings us to four wins and now i find a cuttlefish as well and this is a bit of an awkward turn since I see uh, Pelican Strawberry. So yeah, I, giraffe, giraffe is gone. And I also really want to build, uh, build Pangolin here. And this time I build onto the Donkey. So Donkey has some HP as well right now. So yeah, a little four squad, but we can win. Seahorse takes out everyone. Uh, it's still only level one. It's the only seahorse we found so far, I think. Maybe I missed one, but I don't think it's that's the, that's the case. 
So I'm gonna use a blobfish to get it to level 2 a little bit sooner, hopefully. And I also have a double cuttlefish and a crocodile frozen in the shop. Uh, this works out perfectly, getting rid of the horse. So yeah. Uh, we can partial level seahorse now. And I'm gonna ring in the crocodile since it's a tier 5. So now Poodle can buff uh, most of the units in our team. But we find Pill and I'll bring in Cuttlefish anyway. But Cuttlefish and Donkey are both tier 4 so... Uh, yeah, they're gonna share some stats from Poodle. And then freezing another Poodle just in case. Even though I can't really afford buying uh, more Poodles right now. Uh, yeah, here the this team works perfectly again. The wheel swallows a worm instead of a deer. So I will just partial level both Poodle and Cuttlefish. And yeah, I'm still desperately looking for levels on Seahorse. So I'm even freezing two blobfish right here. Uh, Cuttlefish gets sniped, but it works out again. And yeah, the rest of the team isn't really a problem at all. Uh, I really want to buy the melon there. But yeah, I just can't afford to do so. And I'm also only freezing one of the hogs. Even though a level up on hog will be really good. Yeah, we could have had level 3 now, frozen in the shop. But I mean level 2. But yeah, I just need those uh, seahorses. Yeah, this leech is just too strong. Leech camel is uh, obviously one of the strongest combos in the game. But at least it gives me a bit more time to find level ups. And there's double chocolate in the shop, so... We got everything we, we need right now. And then this is one of the most satisfying battles I've ever had in this game. It just... This build just dismantles this team. So yeah, Popcorn is gone, Spino is gone. Yeah, just uh, perfect. So yeah, getting that opponent was really satisfying. And I think I'm rolling for... I'd rather have a melon than chocolate, but... I'll just buy the chocolate anyways, even though there was cut off fish in the shop and donkey multiple times, but I never play donkey, so I just skip over it automatically. Then, pretty wide skilled team, but octopus gets taken out. Uh, there the donkey actually works against us, but the ink is going to make the difference here. Without the ink, the donkey would have died, but there we go. Back attack bounty completed. So, did you guys enjoy this video? Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.